how fast can you solve these simultaneous equations and this time I'm not going to give you more than five seconds all right so your time starts now the time is up the correct answer is x equal to 0 and y equal to 8 by 7 there it is x equal to 0 y equal to 8 by 7 the usual way of solving these equations it's way too time consuming so I would not at all like to do it the usual way so I'm just skipping this part let's see the fast way of doing it you must have thought that the coefficients of these two simultaneous equations are much more difficult to multiply with isn't it so instead of giving you more time I gave you just five seconds now you'll know why just look at the ratio of the coefficients of y in both the equations and compare it to the ratio of the constants do you see something special yes the ratio is equal isn't it 7 1 times is 7 7 2 times is 14 8 1 times is 8 8 2 times is 16 so this is also 1 by 2 and this is also 1 by 2 whenever this happens you can immediately put the value of other variable to be equal to 0 alright so x equal to 0 as simple as that so just quickly substitute this value in any of these two equations so x equal to 0 so 6 times 0 is 0 so this thing becomes 0 now what is left 7y equal to 8 so y would be equal to 8 over 7 isn't it you put the coefficient of y to the other side and it goes to the denominator so y equal to 8 by 7 that is what your answer is x equal to 0 y equal to 8 by 7 tell me wasn't that fast once again let me repeat when the ratio of the coefficients of y is equal to the ratio of the constants then x equal to 0 and using the same logic if the ratio of the coefficients of x equal to the ratio of the constant then variable y would be equal to 0 now you try to solve these so the first thing that strikes you is that that the ratio of coefficients of x is equal to the ratio of constants so immediately put y equal to 0 now once you have the value of one variable finding the other variable is very easy isn't it so if you put this value here so this thing becomes 0 isn't it so 12 x equal to 12 that means 12 times something equal to 12 so obviously 12 times 1 equal to 12 so x equal to 1 now tell me isn't that a good technique at the first glance if you see that multiplying with these coefficients is a big challenge isn't it they are intimidating numbers but we didn't multiply them that is the beauty of this technique